Sunastruck. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta say screw it. I don't care if nobody gives a crap about a mediocre baseball game made for the original Game Boy. I played the hell out of Roger Clemens' MVP baseball when I was a kid, so I'm gonna do a video on it. Some of you longtime viewers might be surprised that I'm not looking at the Griffey Baseball Game Boy port instead, but this was the Game Boy baseball game I had as a kid. I bought Roger Clemens' MVP baseball for something like $20 brand new back in the mid-90s. Hey, I even still have the box. I was obsessed with baseball back then and needed a portable baseball game since Griffey Baseball at the time was only for the Super Nintendo. That port didn't come out until 97. But yeah, I needed something for those long, boring car rides through rural Minnesota. I remember playing the Super Nintendo version back then, and while I didn't love it, I didn't think it was that bad either. So I said, hey, why not pull the trigger on the Game Boy Edition? And just like its SNES counterpart, it's not great, but it's definitely not bad either. There's no official teams or players here other than Roger Clemens, but hey, who could pass up a chance to play as the Minnesota Hounds against the San Francisco Quakes? Pitching, hitting, and fielding all borrow the same perspective from the SNES game, pitching essentially has two speeds, really fast and really slow. A fastball is basically straight, but hold up on the D-pad and you can bend the ball around on a slower pitch. The two speeds are so extreme that you have to key in on one or the other and decide how you want to time it before the pitcher even releases the ball. This kind of sucks, but hey, it's a Game Boy game, and it's not like the gameplay is broken, just kind of contrived and one-dimensional. The fielding is at least fine, but you do have to have quick reflexes because a lot of line drives are hit in this game. My favorite thing about Roger Clemens MVP Baseball is the season structure. There isn't a full season here. Instead, the game starts you off in the middle of a pennant race toward the end of August, usually a few games out of first place in your division. So you got about 30 to 35 games or so to catch the first place team, win the division, and get to the playoffs. Considering the limitations I'm sure they had to deal with, that's a pretty badass way to do it. Unfortunately, there are passwords here, and no, there's no season stats or anything, but still, I enjoy the layout. It adds a little bit of pressure when you play certain teams. So yeah, Roger Clemens MVP Baseball certainly isn't going to blow you away or anything like that, but it just goes to show you can find a decent, well-structured, time-killing game just about anywhere, and this game usually only goes for about a couple bucks since it's a sports game on a system that even most retro gamers kind of stay away from, as the views on this video will attest. But you know what? Screw it. I really like this game. It's a perfectly playable, portable baseball game, and that's just fine with me.